We're preparing to leave Bellhaven after five days. These guys are walking in front of me. Uh, we've been weathered in here, but first I want to say something about Bellhaven. These people have just been amazing. Uh, Dr. Gwen Leverett, who's a Georgia Tech graduate and is this town manager, uh, granted us a little extended stay. And uh, Vic Cox, who's a, a councilman here and owns the Fish and Hook restaurant, which was delicious. We ate there. Was very helpful to us. Les and Brenda Porter that run Bellhaven Waterway Marina. Uh, everybody's just been so nice. We're getting ready to get out of here. We're going to follow this guy right here and that big boat behind him. They're going to be a little trio of us. But anyway, uh, they've put in a municipal dock here to attract some transient traffic. It's free. Uh, and it's just nice as it can be. It'd probably accommodate six or seven pretty good sized boats. So anyway, if you're in this area, make sure you visit Bellhaven. Uh, it's right here at downtown. The hospital's right over there. So everything's lovely. It's a nice place, and they're very hospitable, and they need the business. Bring it to them. For information, I'm continuing this Bellhaven uh, little video, but we're leaving here. We're going 51 miles. We're going up the Alligator River, if the weather will let us, and uh, dock at a marina up there. Right at the, There's a swing bridge there, which they've got closed down right now because of the weather. But uh, we're going to spend the night there and cross Albemarle Sound tomorrow is our plan and uh, go to Elizabeth City. So that's our next little uh, junket, and uh, I'll keep you posted on this. This is Les Porter. He and uh, his wife Brenda own Bellhaven Waterway Marina. If you're here for a little extended stay, they're right next to downtown. Very nice people, do a good job, and uh, uh, they'd be glad to have you here. Here's some parting shots of uh, Bellhaven. Uh, I've got to shoot this through the cockpit because it's a little brisk out there. But anyway, there's some condos, very nice houses along here. And uh, I'll pick it up as we go. All right, this is just a little action shot. i got to pay attention to what I'm doing, but uh, it's not too bad out here right now. Pungo. We're in the Pungo River headed toward another ditch, which is a relief to me. But this wasn't too bad. Wind's died down a little bit. Right, we did it again. We just came across this... Uh, pretty open water out here and we're in the Pungo River Alligator River Connecting Canal. This is a 25 mile ditch that we can run if we want to but it's a lot calmer than it was out there. So we've got 25 miles straight ahead. This is man-made. They dug this in 1928. All right we just came out of a 21 mile ditch. The riding was nice and smooth. We're in the Alligator River now and it's a little bit rough but uh just wanted to show you this. Nothing serious, but serious enough. Get out the drama mean. Uh, that's it. I just want to keep you posted. It changes so quickly, but not uh, just the, the route. That's all. Well, this is a lot of fun. We got about there's Captain Midnight. We got about uh, another 30 minutes of this. I'm doing 2,800 RPMs, 15.4 miles per hour, and I'm burning 16.9 miles per gallon. I don't like that math, but got to do it. There's another little snippet. I know. Uh, been waiting anxiously but this uh, autopilot is a big help I've set that on uh, a course of 8 degrees 008 degrees and it's just steady as a rock this is sure it's more fun I've had in a long time be glad when it's over well we're through getting beat up we made it up here to the bridge this is actually crossing part of the Albemarle Sound it's a real long bridge and we're going to take a left here under the bridge. That boat right there, uh, uh, we left together from Bellhaven. And there's a marina right over here somewhere. I haven't seen it yet. But anyway, just want to let you see the swing bridge up here. Pretty nifty. Had to lower my antenna. Look, this is uh, the Alligator River in about five miles. There's a swing bridge we came under a while ago, about five miles. We'll run into Albemarle Sound. We're going to try to cross that tomorrow. The weather's supposed to be decent. Very nice little marina here. This is the boss lady's place. Right here, she runs it by herself. She's tucked. We'll wrap this up in a little bit. There we are, tucked in over here at Alligator River Marina. There's a uh, uh, boat house over there. It's got a TV room and showers and a laundry. There are not many people here, as you can see. And right out there is uh, Pamlico Sound. There's a swing bridge we just came across over there. So uh, we filled up with gas here, and uh, we're going to leave in the morning and go to Elizabeth City, and then up to the Dismal Swamp. So. I'll be back shortly. Let's right, wrap, we'll wrap this, this up. thing up. The clampets are here. Maybe one of these days I'll get to put that kayak in the water. Maybe not. I backed it in here. It didn't knock a hole in it. 
Anyway, that's it for the day. We're uh, leaving, headed to Elizabeth City tomorrow. I'll pick it up there. All right, this officially wraps this one up. There's the sky we've been looking at for five days. We've got sunshine right now. It's about 6 o'clock on the Tuesday afternoon in the, for the first time in five days. Really glad to see that. So this is it. Going to All right, this is be quick. This is correction time. I made three mistakes. when uh, At the beginning of this, I was talking about the... Uh, Bell Haven Municipal Marina, and I was filming an old marina. That wasn't it. The new municipal marina is over by the hospital. My statistics were incorrect. 2,800 RPMs, 15.3 miles per hour, and 16.4 gallons per hour I was burning. And uh, once again, I said this was a Pamlico sound. It's the Albemarle sound. So that's it. Bye.